Hello, good evening, this is Diecast Looney. I hope you're all feeling well on this Friday. And today we're going to take a look at three Fords. Uh, two from Greenlight and one from Auto World. Um, just as random as that. I just picked out three Ford castings and thought we'd take a look. And the first one we're going to take a look at is this uh, 1984 LTD uh, Crown Victoria. And uh, got this sort of 70s land yacht look to it these were cool um very popular car many applications you know sort of families going on vacation or holiday um, the police used it many applications like i said and then you had the uh, mercury counterpart and they did their own which i think was called the coney park um but anyway as far as I'm aware of, I'm not. I'm, I don't know masses about this particular um, model of car. I think they had a 302 fuel injected V8 in them, um, and I think the LTD stood for Luxury Trim Decor. But there's some argument over that because some people say it doesn't mean anything. Some people think it says means something else. But uh, from what I've looked up. LT, L, sorry, LTD stands for Luxury Trim Decor. Only from what I've researched. But anyway, so obviously this is the green light version of that particular car. And it's got a separate bumper. Painted headlights. Painted tail lights. Got the plate detail. Got the Ford badge. Again, separate piece for the rear bumper. The back does drop down. This one's a bit sticky. Let's see if we can get it down a bit, bit better. Yeah, it's a bit sticky, this one. Some of them are, some of them aren't. There you go, you've got a spare wheel going on. I've got a bit of a light issue here at the minute. But you can see it's got a tow itch as well. But yeah, just a nice standard casting of a nice standard car. Metal bottom, metal base, rubber tyres, all that good stuff. But yeah, just a nice big old car. So that's the first one. And then the second one's one of my favourite castings. I love this casting. This is the 1972 uh, Ford Mustang Mark One in like a sort of a metallic pale blue. Not quite sure of the colour to be honest because I haven't got the box to hand. But Auto World as usual done a fantastic job on this casting. As you can see, you've got the Firestone tyres. <coughs> Excuse me. And you've got the Mark 1. If I can get my camera to zoom in there. On the side. I think this particular car has a 351 cubic inch engine in it. Get some bonnet detail going on. There's the engine. And as usual, being auto world, it's done very nice. No flaws. And again, you've got the rear painted lights. You can see it says 351. It might possibly be a Cleveland engine in this, but don't hold me to that. Got the spoiler going on there. But the, like I said, this is just a lovely casting. Like I said, it's one of my favourites. Anyway, that's the 1972 Mark I Mustang. And then the third one, <coughs> excuse me, which is that needs no introductions, really. And let's just put this car over here, looking like it's getting some fuel. There you go. It's obviously the original Bigfoot. Um... And again, this is by Greenlight, and they've done a wonderful job on this. All the castings they've done, from the large scale right down to the small scale, is done really, really well. There you go, it's better, got some better light on it. Um, originally, so this is a 1974 F250, or Ford F250, pickup. And um, it was modified by Bob, I'm trying to think what his name was now. I mean, he's called Bob something. If anybody remembers his name, they can just comment on him because I've, my brain switched off. But anyway, the guy obviously originally owned this, um, heavily modified it, 
and then it later on became I think he started modifying about 1975 something like that and um, obviously we all know it's the first Bigfoot monster truck but like I said they've done a fantastic job on this green light so you've got the fuel cell in the back there and you've got some batteries going on and obviously you've got the Ford script the plate detail these again this is separate bumpers on this painted lights and again the whole front piece is a separate piece on this it's actually got um, acrylic lights on this one on the front and again you've got the Firestone tyres Bigfoot but yeah it's just just really really well done and you've got the uh, three air air filters there for the now again I think this had quad calves on it and I think the engine originally was a 427 that was fitted into this and souped up but again I I have been a bit lazy and not done my research on it fully. But uh, yeah, it's just a really cool casting. It's been looked at before. Got the lights at the back there. Bigfoot in the window. And it rolls quite well. And the underneath's done pretty well as well. You can see you've got all the diffs there. You've got the planetary diffs there going on. And you've got the prop shafts. You can see the exhausts. Yeah, really cool. I'll we'll stick that one over there in the background. Anyway, so that's it. Three Fords. We'll call it Ford Friday. And uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, stay safe and I'll see you again soon.